What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk, and I am back with another video. Colossal Boxing Talk is associated with Three Kings Boxing under the movement umbrella. IBF welterweight champion Errol the True Spence took to Twitter yesterday and tweeted out this. Hopefully Danny Swift wins so we can fight at the end of the year since he say he not ducking no action. He got wind of the comments Danny Garcia made uh, earlier this month where he said a fight with Errol Spence would be a great fight for him. He's a young champion. Um, he's coming up the ranks. He hasn't fought anybody um, on my level. I'm paraphrasing, but he said that will be a good fight for him. And now that he did indeed defeat Brandon Rios by ninth round KO, he can set his sights on bigger fights, whether it's Errol Spence Jr. for the IBF welterweight title or a rematch with Keith Thurman for the WBA and WBC welterweight titles or what appears to be a grudge match between... Um, there would be a grudge match between him and Sean Porter, who hopped in a ring WWE style uh, and called out Danny Garcia. I'm going to post a video to that. I just did one. But let's just talk about Swift and um, Arrow. That is a good fight, man. That is a good fight. And the reason why it's a good fight is because as good as Arrow Spence is, He's still improving. Um, he still needs to work on his defense. He still squares himself up. He's open for the left hook, which is, which is Danny's money punch. Although he got Rios out last night with the straight right hand. Don't get it mistaken. Don't get it twisted. Danny Garcia loves to throw that no look, looking at you left hook. However he throws it, he's going to throw it. And when he throws it, it has a lot of velocity, a lot of speed, a lot of accuracy, and a lot of power behind it, and it ha and will knock you out. Ask Keith, uh, I mean, not Keith Thurman, ask Amir Khan, um, ask Rod Salka, you know, ask Zab Judah how it hurt him, you know, ask uh, Eric Morales how it hurt him, how it dropped him, ask Lucas Matisse, you know, ask all of these guys that have been in the ring with Danny Garcia how effective that left hook is. And while I would favor Errol Spence, the reason I just said before gives Danny Garcia a very good chance of landing um that big left hook and stopping, you know, um Errol Spence, man. That is a fight that needs to happen. No more rerun fights unless definitely necessary. Um Danny shouldn't be in the ring with Keith Thurman um cuz that fight wasn't good enough to warrant uh, a rematch uh, over a Sean Porter fight. And since we know Thurman and Spence won't fight this year, um, if you're not going to fight Porter, talking about Danny Garcia, then you might as well go and get you an IBF title shot opportunity against um, Errol Spence and take your chances there. Because another loss, it doesn't do anything. I mean, people are looking at Errol Spence as the best guy in the division, although Keith Thurman holds two of the welterweight welterweight belts. But Danny Garcia is a proven champion, a two-division champion. Came close to being undisputed at 140. You know, defeated Lucas Matisse, Amir Khan, um, Brandon Rio, Zab Judah, Pauli Malignaggi, Robert Guerrero, uh, Eric Morales twice. Um, so he has a very good resume. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I left a few names off, but I don't see why Danny Garcia wouldn't be up for the challenge. Plus, he told uh, Sean Porter, we from Philly. We don't back down from nobody. That doesn't just apply to uh, Sean Porter. That should apply to every uh, fighter in and around his weight division. If you call me out um, and I say I'm not ducking nobody and I won't ask you with you, hey, send the contract. Make the offer. If it's right, the money right, then I'll see you in the ring. So, I mean... The fight is logical if it's, if not if Sean Porter is not going to be his next opponent, and if me I'm picking um you know Errol Spence because I want to be a champion. This is me per personally speaking. I'm not speaking for DSG. I'm speaking for Big Cool. If I was in a position, I want to you know test myself against the best, and I'm gonna go the route of Errol Spence, beat him, then I'll come back get Keith Thurman. You, you know, 
avenge their loss, had three belts, then I'll give some smoke to um, Sean Porter. But that's just the way I, I look at it. But it's not that simple. Business always uh, prevails over, you know, um, actual things boxing fans wants to wants to see. And sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But Errol Spence put, uh, you know, uh, Danny Garcia on notice last night or yesterday. Since you won now, meet me in Texas at the end of the year. And we can settle this once and for all. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Colossal Box and Talk. Drop those comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this potential matchup uh, between Danny Garcia and Errol Spence. Be sure to turn on the notifications to get notified every time you upload content. Follow me on Twitter at ColossalCBT. Head over to Facebook, like my Colossal Box and Talk Facebook page. Um, shout out to everybody in the movement that's moving with us. And next time I'm out. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.